Howdy, how's it going? Welcome back, or howdy if you're new. I'm going to show you a quick and easy fix on how to avoid something from happening that was really bugging me for quite a while on my ROG Ally X, and that is accidental touchscreen presses when I'm using my right joystick. It doesn't happen as much on the OG Ally because we have a lot more distance between the joystick and the screen. This issue may plague other Windows handhelds as well, and if so, this fix will work universally across any Windows device. There is another way you can do this without downloading this. You can, of course, go into Device Manager and disable the touchscreen, but that method kind of gets annoying after a while, and I really was searching for a quicker way to enable and disable this. Ideally, I would love it if we could have something in the command center to enable or disable it, but currently we don't. So here's all you're gonna need to do. First, you'll download the touchy file. It is in the description below. You can validate it with VirusTotal or any other antivirus that you want to make sure that it's virus free. I already have, I can vet it. I can tell you that it's perfectly safe, but don't take my word for it. So once you've downloaded that file, I'm gonna show you what you'll need to do. You'll extract the contents to any folder you want. For today, we're gonna just drag it and drop it to the desktop. You can put it in your C drive, you can put it in your documents folder, wherever you wanna hide it at. Once you have downloaded that, you'll open up said folder, right click on where it says disable, hit show more options, send to, and then you'll send a desktop shortcut. So you'll right click on the other one as well, right click, show more options, send to desktop, create shortcut. And now you have two shortcuts on your desktop, one for disable and one for enable. All right, so here's the quickest way to disable the touchscreen. Go ahead and launch your game, open up the command center, and then go hit show desktop. Once the desktop is shown like this, you can go over here to disable touchscreen. This little pop-up right here will come up every time. If you wanna bypass that, I'm gonna show you a way to bypass that. What I do is hit show more options or show more details, change when this notification appears, and I dragged this all the way down to never notify. It does lower your security notifications, but it doesn't lower the security of your computer really. It just stops these little pop-ups from appearing every time you open up an application. If you know what you're downloading, you'll know that you shouldn't have to worry about this anyways. So now when I want to disable that touchscreen button, I can click it and boom. Now my touchscreen is completely, completely disabled. And what I would recommend doing is hitting Command Center again, changing from gamepad to desktop mode. That way you can use your right joystick as the mouse to open your game back up. Once you're back in your game, of course, just change that back to gamepad. And now you can play your game. When you're ready to re-enable the touchscreen, quickest way is to just go ahead and exit to desktop, or you can show desktop again but we'll just show you exiting a game, what's gonna happen. And the quickest way to re-enable that touchscreen is to click the command center button, use the D-pad, change that to desktop, and now your right joystick can come over here and re-enable that touchscreen, just like that. Quick and easy, simple, it's not complicated. You don't have to go into device manager, disable it, or anything crazy like that. I would love to see if we could program this into Command Center as a button. If you have any idea of how to do that, please let me know below. I did send this fix officially to my Asus rep, and I think they may work on that or they may not. I don't have any official yes or no on that, but maybe if you guys drop it in the comments that it was a feature that you would like to see, maybe they'll put that into consideration. I don't know, but I would love for people to let me know if this fix works for you or if you have another way that you like doing it. I would love your feedback. And if you like more videos like this, please consider checking out my other mods and tutorials. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. It would be so much appreciated. And I really appreciate all my channel OGs as well. You guys are the GOAT, the OGs, much love. And if you'd like to be a channel member and show direct support, check the links below. Well, 
that's the end of the video. Short, sweet, and simple. Not too overly complicated. And I hope this helps somebody. And I also hope you have a good afternoon, good evening, or good night.